Did you see Peyton Manning said uh, on his Manning cast that any time he went into Gillette that he would not have a conversation in front of his locker because he was afraid that there was a live microphone in front of it? <laughs> You're laughing. Did you? Were you in, in the rest of the charges the same way whenever you went into Gillette back in the day? You know, it's, it, it's funny because Peyton, you know, there's some seriousness behind every joke, right? I mean, we like, okay, we're joking about it. But absolutely, we, we all did. I mean, I think that most teams that played there, um, I remember – uh, how the coaches, the assistant coaches would make us any kind of game information, any adjustment, audibles, any pregame stuff. We would have somebody dedicated to go to the hotel rooms to clean up any kind of paperwork that was left there. You had to, you got fined if you didn't turn in your paperwork because what we heard, and I don't know if this is true or not, um, but we heard it by multiple people that they had housekeepers gathering information left by and giving it to the Patriots <laughs> in the hotels. So you're saying. The Chargers organization, coaches or whatever, thought that New England had a connection with the housekeeping staff in the hotel on the road. And I don't know if if they still had it at the same spot. It's Providence, Rhode Island, right? Is that where you guys stayed in Providence back in the right. day? Yep. Right. Okay. That this hotel where the that this hotel would have a housekeeping staff instructed to look for any leftover pieces of paper that looked like something football wise and then collect it hand it over to somebody who would then hand it into the Patriots that literally was a thought process of somebody in the Chargers organization is what you're saying 100 percent 100 percent and we, we started they started issuing out fines for not turning in your your papers uh, or information was that because anywhere that, on the road was, or just New England it was just New England oh my gosh what do you think? Do you really think that was happening for real? <laughs> Look, I, I don't, I don't know who they, you know, if they had a connection at the hotel, or whatever. I always believe when they smoke, there's fire. Um, and I'm not saying that maybe it wasn't the, the top or execs or anybody in the organization. Maybe it was somebody that was, you know, maybe a lower level or you know, the ball boy. I, I have no idea, but right. it definitely was a serious conversation, uh, and it was a serious issue that we had that we had someone collecting every piece of uh, game information. And if you left it in the hotel room, you was fine. And when you say where there's smoke, there's fire, you're not talking about the other rumor that the Patriots would have somebody on this hotel staff pull the fire alarm at 2 in the morning when there wasn't anything just to wake you guys up in the middle of the night before game day, right? There's that. There was that oh, one, too. That, that, was, uh, that was real smoke. That, that, wasn't, uh, where that was real smoke with that one. That was true. That one, you think they did that? Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> oh, my gosh. It's crazy. Football's nuts, man. This is just crazy, the paranoia that, that goes on. And, and, and that's good enough. I mean, I bet you the Patriots love hearing this. I, think, I bet you they love hearing it because if, if it's in the mind's eye of anybody that comes in, I'm sure Sean Payton's talking about it this week to the Saints right now. I'm sure. Well, that sort of stuff. Well, he, he, has to, he has to. I mean, if you think about it um, – and look, it's just, it's just way, way, way too many things. And I don't know if any of this stuff true. I, no one's like said, hey, this happened, or they told me that we right. collected this information and, you know, don't talk in the showers, maybe the locker rooms. I don't know, but you, you, it, it's, it's been conversations throughout many, many organizations, even when we're playing other teams or you see guys in the offseason and you're kind of just chilling, having a, having a drink or hanging out. It's, all, it's, been, it's talked about everywhere. It's just not like, you know, some secret news. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.